Hello everyone, I am Dr. James. I want to welcome parents, students, teachers, staff and everybody in our TCIS community to the Grade 4 Virtual Promotion Ceremony. Grade 4 students, this is such an exciting time in your education journey as you move from elementary school into middle school. You will face a lot of challenges and exciting things as you move to middle school, but you are well prepared for any challenges that will meet you. I have seen you all grow so much this year and I am excited to continue this journey with you and to meet you and see how well you are doing in middle school. When you move to middle school, you're going to have more independence. You are going to be more proactive in your learning and you take on more responsibility. I know from watching you for the past year at TCIS that you are ready. Parents, I want to thank you so much for allowing us at TCIS to educate your child and to take care of their social emotional needs. Mr. Mansell and Ms. Cameron, thank you so much as the homeroom teachers for this year's grade four students and thank you to all the teachers and staff at TCIS. As you move into middle school, Dr. Michael and everybody will take good care of you and I am always just a few steps away. Grade four, welcome to middle school and I hope to see you soon. Good morning, fourth graders and families. We are here this morning to celebrate the academic achievements of this fourth grade class. Not only have these students successfully climbed the educational ladder from preschool through third grade, but they've survived fourth grade. This has truly been an extraordinary year for all of us. Being online has not been easy, but you pulled through. Today, we wanted to leave you with 10 nuggets of wisdom to take with you on your life journey. You might wanna take notes. These are good. Number one, no matter what life throws at you, you need to have a positive attitude. Life is what you make of it. A parent had, had, had asked their child how their day was. The child answered that it was amazing. When the parent asked why, the child answered, because I wanted it to be. Oh, that's good, Mr. Mansell. Number two, laugh often. Scientists have shown laughter relaxes the body and gets rid of stress and tension. It also boosts your immune system so you can fight diseases and illness. Laughter also protects your heart and much more. If you laugh when you work with teammates, it helps with group bonding and gets rid of conflict. It's also fun to do. Well, number three is learn how to prioritize. That's a hard word to say. That means figure out what needs to be done first, what is important or hardest, or has the soonest deadline. If you can prioritize things that need to get done, you can stop the procrastination. That means convincing yourself that you shouldn't do something. And problems with missing deadlines. Remember the snowball effect? That won't happen if you can prioritize. Ooh, that's hard to do. Number four, be honest and work hard. You're building healthy work habits and character habits. You're creating your reputation, what others think about you. How do you want others to view you? Do you wanna be the person people avoid being in a group with or someone others want to have in a group project? What do you want teachers to say about you? Are you showing these traits? Good question. Number five, be yourself and be confident in yourself. Don't hide your true identity from the world. Be your own unique individual self because you are special. You have a neat way of looking at the world or a fun way to sign your name or a funny sense of humor. 
The world needs variety. Don't be a cookie cutter of everyone else. That is boring. Mm. Just be you. Number six, find quality role models. Maybe a family member, a famous athlete, or other adult. Figure out which characteristic makes them awesome and work to build those qualities in yourself. Excellent. Number seven is learn how to organize yourself. At the risk of sounding like your parent, clean your desk and work area, clean your backpack. A clear space helps you mind focus better. If you can organize your work, you won't lose your assignments. That be, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight, don't give up. When things get hard, keep fighting, keep trying. Persevere and work through those hard times. I promise when you get to the end, it will be worth it. And number nine, appreciate the people that are trying to help you, like your teachers. They are working to help you succeed. They're in your corner. Greet them in the morning. Tell them that you enjoyed learning the other day. Write them thank you notes. I'm sure they love mangoes and coffee as well. Ah, and number 10, learning is hard work. Just sitting in front of a computer or at a desk, staring into space, isn't learning. There's no easy shortcut. A smart person once said, there's no elevator to learning. You just have to take the stairs. Just dig in and do it. And I know we said 10, but here's number 11, a bonus nugget. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you to be the best version of yourself. Don't stay with people who tear you down or get you in trouble. Find those people who want to see you succeed. Number. All right. Number. You do all these things and you Number. will have no problem in school, with friends and family, work, with life. Now go forth. And, and be the awesomest fifth graders. graders possible. Awesome. <laughs>亲爱的母语班同学也是老师常常在课堂上提起的
是谢老师，很高兴你们要毕业了，即将迈入中学五年级。老师先祝福你们，好不容易你们完成了小学的学习，那么明年进到五年级之后，会有更多的功课等着你们，然后会有更严格的老师，还有更难的公考试。啊，不管怎么样呢，我们都要一一克服它，把它学好。那么不只要中文学好，希望你们英文、数学所有的都能够学得很好。那么老师先祝你们暑假愉快，有一个安全平安的暑假。然后明年呢，我们再继续努力。大家明年见喽，拜拜。สวัสดีค่ะเด็กๆทุกคนวันนี้ครูสองคนก็ขอแสดงความยินดีกับความสําเร็จของเด็กๆในวันนี้ด้วยนะคะปีหน้าเด็กๆจะขึ้นชั้นป .5 แล้วพวกครูก็หวังว่าเด็กๆจะพยายามให้มากขึ้นนะคะถึงแม้ว่าจะเจอเรื่องยากๆก็ขอให้ผ่านพ้นไปได้ด้วยดีแล้วก็ขออวยพรให้ประสบความสําเร็จในสิ่งที่มุ่งหวังทุกประการมีสุขภาพที่แข็งแรงสู้ๆค่ะค่ะ Good morning everyone for Uh, my grateful Thai foreign tongue student. I don't really have anything much to say because we've been together like two years, and I've seen many things change. Oh, and it's good, and you did a great job. So for next year, you're moving to middle school. I wish you good luck and try your best. You got it. So so nakha. Yay!
Greetings, graduates, parents, family, teachers, faculty, and friends. Fourth graders, I am very, very proud of you. Dr. James and your teachers have told me what an amazing group of students you are. I'm excited to work with you next year in middle school. Middle school is just another adventure for you. It may be a bit different, but you have worked hard and you have prepared yourself. I want you to know that the teachers and I are going to help you to adjust and to succeed in middle school. One of my favorite books is The Hobbit. In The Hobbit, there was a character named Bilbo Baggins, and Bilbo was sent out in the very beginning of the book on an amazing adventure. Much like Bilbo, his adventure would not have been possible without the help of his friends. You have had the help of your moms and dads, brothers and sisters, teachers and friends. Be sure to thank them for helping you in this adventure so far. Middle school may be more challenging for you, but I know you're going to succeed. I know that your parents are very, very proud of you and you should be proud of yourself. Congratulations to each one of the graduates. I look forward to working with you over the next eight years and I look forward to being a part of your next adventure in middle school. Welcome back everybody. We have come to the end of the grade four promotion ceremony. I want to thank the chairman and the board for all the support they provide to TCIS. I wanna thank parents for providing us the opportunity to teach your children. I wanna thank our teachers, our TAs, all the support staff at TCIS. I wanna thank Dr. John, our head of school and the admin team for all the hard work they do. Most of all, I wanna thank the grade four students. You are wonderful. I am very happy to have had this year with you and I look forward to continuing your journey with you. Come back and see me anytime and share your life in grade five with me. Have a wonderful year, a wonderful summer and a fantastic future.